The Real Show is brought to you by UCS Facility Management Limited, Omni Basic Bank and Dewdrop Hand Sanitizer. Welcome back to The Real Show. If you just joined us, you are right on time as I'm about to introduce to you my first guest. Let's have a look at her introductory video. Is an individual sport played by hitting the ball with a club from a tee into a hole. The objective is to get the ball into the hole with the least number of swings or strokes of the club. Golf is a highly popular sport that is enjoyed by people of all ages. It is often played competitively but can be played for relaxation. It is hugely mentally oriented and can be played by all ages unlike other sports. Golf is played on large acres of land known as courses. The nature of these courses help in the preservation of nature and therefore golf is a game that is a friend to nature. Floria Hertebees is a golfer and a polo shirt designer. She has been playing golf for more than 15 years and her whole family play golf too. She's married to a Canadian and they live in both Ghana and Canada. She's here to throw more light on the game and as a polo shirt designer. Welcome, Floria. Let's welcome Floria Hutubis. <laughs> <laughs> I love your anklets. That's the first thing I'm going to talk about because yeah. it looks so unique. Why Why did you choose to do um, this? With this, I must say, I actually picked it up from a very good friend of mine. Oh, okay. Yeah, her name is Vastis. Remember the glasses I was wearing? Oh, yes. Vastis. I've heard yes. of Vastis there. I yes. think she designs sunglasses. Exactly. Yes, you should yes. have her on the show. She's amazing. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. I didn't know she does um, beats as well. Uh, actually, she doesn't do the beats. She was the one that I saw wearing them. Okay, they are and lovely. I fell in love with them. They are so lovely. <laughs> mostly when it comes to the golf course, you see them on her and on me. That's great. No, I love your whole look, I must say. And Thank I'm really you. grateful that you joined us tonight Thank on The you. Real Show. Now, let's talk about golf. Yes. Why golf in the first place? Why did you choose golf? Um, you know, like golf is a very interesting game. Mm -hmm. And I had no idea about golf in the first <laughs> place. So, yes, it all started with my husband. And a little bit of curiosity as well. Okay. Because I was, we kind of watch it together at home, you know. And I had no idea about what golf is all about. So I was wondering, you see like three people and they're going to hit this tiny little <laughs> white ball so far a distance. And you see they walk together and they'll get to the ball. And this one is like, this is mine. You can see that they know which is which. So I'm <laughs> like, you know, how are they, you know, how did they figure out that this is mine and this is the other person so mm -hmm. I was like I need to find out you know <laughs> how this works so my husband traveled and I pick up because he already know golf and all okay. that so I picked his clubs and I was I went out because we were living in Bogosu before and we're living on the 50 there's a golf uh, course there we actually lived on the golf course so I was just hitting the ball anyhow I didn't <laughs> know what I was doing whatever so a guy passed by and he was like, you've got a good swing. I couldn't mm -hmm. say thank you because I have no idea what he was saying <laughs> back then. So when my husband came back, I told him that, you know what? I was playing around with your golf sticks. That's what I called it by then. And a guy told me I had a good swing. What is that about? And he said, oh, he's actually saying you were hitting the ball nicely and all that. Maybe you should, you know, start playing yeah. golf. And since the golf, course, the golf course is right there, I decided, no, let me find out how they are able to find the, those balls, right? <laughs> so and that's how I started, and we are here today. Well, yeah. but you know, generally, uh, it is said that golf is mentally oriented. Yes. So why would you say that is? Um, you know, golf itself mm -hmm. is a very destructive game. Okay. And... You, a little bit of distraction can just throw you off like the whole day. Mm -hmm. So you have to get your mental game on like, you know, 
nothing will make me go wrong. So it's on you the know. focus. Exactly. You have to focus. And also, you have to let the past remain in the past. Like, maybe you, have, you had a bad shot before and you're going to the next hole. You have to be mentally strong to forget about that, that very instant. If not, the next of the round is ruined. So when you bring your mental game on, even that alone can kind of let your opponent, oh, I need to be focused because he's, she's really on, <laughs> right? So if it's like you'll be doing like more than three things at once, like you have to uh, calculate the distance, how you want to hit it, how mm. long you want to hit it, and the speed, so it's like you're doing a couple of things at the same time just yeah. to hit one ball. Yeah. So you have to get it right. So if you're not a little bit strong yeah. in the head, sometimes it's... But, wow. you know, I think everybody can play golf. Well, then you're brilliant because you are Thank amazing you. at it. <laughs> okay, so we have a setup on set today with us. I'm yeah. using set twice. <laughs> can you explain to us what we have here? So this is, uh, w when it comes to golf, we have something we say drive for show and mm -hmm. part for do. Drive for, for show, show and part for do. And part for do. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> the part is on the green. So this is okay. like a pattern mat. Okay. So this is what it all comes down to, like hitting the ball around everywhere. Mm -hmm. But you just have to make sure it gets into the hole. Exactly. Well. Yeah. You will give us a demonstration soon. Sure, no <laughs> problem at all. Looking at the fact that golf is male-dominated, how would you say you cope as a woman? Oh, you know, like we have this saying that uh, what men can do... Women can do better. Thank you. <laughs> so that's it. So, you know, when you pick up a game or mm -hmm. any... It can be golf, it could be anything. You yeah. don't have to really think that, you know, it's kind of men stuff, no. Yeah we also can do it. Yeah. So I want the <laughs> ladies to come and play golf. It's not for the men. Well. We can all play golf, yes. <laughs> I mean, I can see some awards on the table. So yeah. definitely, it being a male-dominated field definitely doesn't put you at any disadvantage at, at all. all. So tell us about the awards we have. Um, so these are a couple of awards uh, I've mm. won over the years okay. when I've been playing golf. And as you can see, most of them are first place prizes so wow. that doesn't was that mean in that this country in Ghana yes uh, that doesn't mean that uh, it's men's game right so <laughs> the ladies we can also compete and As actually well. win yeah well you have four kids yeah. yes I'm sure my viewers are like whoa <laughs> because you do not look it you look amazing thank you you look way younger than somebody who would be able to have four kids thank and the you. fact that your third child is just three months old yes. if i'm right yes. so it means he's still breastfeeding of course and you still look this good would you attribute what what you you put together to take care of yourself maybe exercise or something to golf um i think uh, everyone has uh, one or two exercises they do at home, even if you don't go to the gym. Yes. Like we're talking about golf. Golf mm -hmm. has been great for me. It's a great exercise. Like on a normal day, mm -hmm. there's no way I will walk like uh, about eight kilometers in four hours. No way. Mm -hmm. But when I play a round of golf, four hours, I work. Sometimes when you have a bad day, you probably walk more than, than <laughs> you know, more than eight kilometers. So golf, has contributed a lot to me getting back into shape. So mm -hmm. on this note, I think the ladies should start coming. We need them. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're watching, yes, here on The Real Show, we believe that women can do anything they put their minds to. So if you're yeah. watching, you can do anything, even if it is male dominated, just like she is doing golf and is doing amazing. You can tell from the awards we have here on set. Now, she's not the only person that's doing amazing. She has an amazing son. That's your first son, right? Yeah. Ricky. He is one of the champions in Ghana. He's tell us trying. how that came about. You know, for Ricky, I think he's a self-taught golfer. Wow. Yeah, yeah. He, he just picked up golf, you know, when we were at Bogusu, <laughs> playing around. And I'll say that as soon as his dad realized that he's got interest in the game, he just provided him with everything he needs to get to where he is now. So kudos to the dad. Wow. How old is he? He's 15. 15. Yes. 
Oh, he has a lot more to do. Maybe exactly. we should see him in the Olympics soon because he's doing you see? great. Yeah. Here. Now, uh, can you demonstrate sure. the golf for us, please? Yes, Before we get into your polo so designing. This, yeah, this <laughs> is not hitting the golf. Oh. This is just on the green. Okay. Like um, how I said before, okay. we drive for show, okay. but this is where the money is. <laughs> you have to get the ball into... We don't have a, um, a, hole, a hole here. Yes. This is just to practice okay. or just to demonstrate. But let's say I want to hit the ball to hit that thing over there. Okay. So right now, like we talk about the golf being mentally oriented, mm -hmm. I have to make sure I pick up the right speed so okay. that if I hit it, it gets to where I want the ball to yes. hit. So, and also there's something, you know, when you get to golf, you know, you have to watch your stance, where mm -hmm. you want the ball to go. Okay. So as it is now, I want it to hit the middle where mm -hmm. The, the the white stripes yes. over there. So then Is I that have where to it's supposed to always hit? Uh, it depends. They change the, p the okay. pin position. So All it right. depends on where it will be. Okay. But as you're looking at me right now, and when it comes to this, anyway, any shots on golf, you just have to keep your eye on the ball. Okay. That's all you need to start, actually. Not on the hole? No. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> because when you keep your eye on the hole, you're going to hit anywhere. Of the so you ball. just have to keep your eye on the ball. Okay. You just pick your line, looking at the hole first. Okay. And as soon as you pick up your line, the next thing is to just have your eyes only on the ball. And then you stroke it the way you want it to go. There. Whoa. Exactly. You see? So, and... There's every green in the fastness and the, the slow pace. So when you play around, the green will tell you if you should hit it either harder or a bit slower. So nice. there you go. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I've learned something. You know, I would have first looked at the hole and be like, you need to go there. You need to go no. into the hole. <laughs> <laughs> you have to look at it though, but... When it comes to hitting the ball, you don't look at the hole. The you look at the ball the before ball. you hit it. Yes. I will forever remember that. So if you don't know anything at all, you have heard on The Real Show that when it comes to golf, your target is to be able to hit the ball right. Exactly. After right. you've aimed at your, your hole, you look at the ball and you hit. So I don't know about the swing. Maybe we have to practice it. Yes. Are you open to teaching, though? Uh, when they have people that teach. Okay. So when you want to play or you want to learn, you okay. come to the golf course. Okay. The people that will teach you are there. But when it comes to someone that you want to play with, mm -hmm. then we could play. That's Great. after you have all the, the, training. the training. Yes, also stress you out. Exactly. <laughs> then we can play together. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. That was interesting. Thank you. Let's talk about the back. Yes. Yes. Uh, you have told us about the golf course, the mini course we've created here. But the bag, why does it always have to look a whole, like, so big? Is it because of the sticks you carry? And uh, then if just because of the sticks, why is it not a slim, tall bag? Why yeah. do you need all the other packs So around? if you open the, the, if you take off the cover, you see that okay. there's a, a little pocket or, like, holes. Okay. It's, uh, every golf club has a hole. Some of them is like one big one that you okay. put the stick so that it doesn't rub on each other. Okay. So there's a, something we call the grip where you hold it so that Ooh. it won't be, you know, when you're pulling it uh, and they'll be scratching yeah. each other. Yeah. So that also makes the bag a little Bulky. bit bigger. Yeah. And when it comes to the side, that's where we put your shoes your golf balls, your towels, your tees. So all the golf accessories goes in there. And as a lady, you know now, there's a few yeah, things in there. Yeah, a few well. other things yes, you have to put exactly. there. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact that you're keeping it real on the yeah, real show. Yeah, of course, yeah. It's the real show, so you have yes, to keep it real. Thank yeah. you for that. <laughs> and let's talk about you designing polo shirts. Yes. That is very unique. Thank you. How did that come about? So when it comes to the polo shirts mm -hmm. business, I used to live in Bogoto, like I mentioned okay, earlier. Yeah. And um, when it comes to golf tournaments, the sponsors give shirts to mm. the golfers. Okay. Yes. It's mainly one of the things we call, we have something we call giveaways. Yes. <laughs> so the sponsor give away shirts too. Mm -hmm. So one thing I realized was that, you know, one thing about golf is you have to be comfortable when playing golf. <laughs> yes. 
it's, it's really contribute to a good game. If you're not comfortable in what you're wearing, then yeah. everything doesn't, you know, go according to what you want to do. So I realized that whenever we have a tournament in Bogo, so the shirts that they bring is mostly the cotton type. Oh. Yes, which is not golf friendly. Because you can see somebody wearing it and they are all sweaty and even you looking at them, you feel uncomfortable. Okay. So I met, I spoke to my husband, you know what, I think this is not the right apparel for golf. And when we travel and we play around a couple of tournaments, you see that people wear the actual sporty, like we call it performance polo, oh, okay. which is very suitable for the game not the i'm not saying the cotton shirt is no good it's just not for golf okay. because you are in the sun the heat and all that so you get all sweaty it's and it's not so, comfortable yeah. so then we talk about it and then we decide why don't you get into a business <laughs> that will do something that will be comfortable for during golf and after after then pro polo design came to mind wow yes I mean, offset, we're having a discussion. You told me you are wearing one of your pieces. Exactly. Right. What would you say uh, is the fabric content you have here? It's 100% um, uh, polyester. Polyester. Yes, so that it doesn't get uh, too warm. It doesn't stick to your okay. skin when you are sweating. Just so you can, you know, the golf itself is hard enough. <laughs> so when what, when what you are wearing is not helping, then the whole thing is like, oh, my God. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> so but what do you have there? Uh, the logo. What do you yes, call your so shirt? Yes. So this is a, yes. a flow polo logo. This is oh. my logo. So you, so call you it can flow flow polo, polo, polo design. Logo. Okay. Yes. Flow polo yes. design. So you outsiders do all can the grab logos some? and everything. Yes, of course. Why not? How do they get? <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting one. I know, well right? So you just have to call me. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. Okay. Flow polo designs. All the contact and everything is there. Yeah. Okay. So you it's flow polo, polo designs, designs on yes, Instagram, on Instagram and Facebook and Facebook. Okay. And you can also look us up on the internet and on Google flowpolodesign.com and you find us. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Now looking at the fact that generally in Ghana here, the concept people have, or the reason why most people wouldn't even want to think of trying golf, mm -hmm. so they think it's a game for the rich. Mm -hmm. It's a game for the rich. I don't know why there's that perception. Can you help us with that? Is it because you have to spend a lot in getting the equipment? W what brings about that whole idea that we have? Um, I think people haven't even got into golf yet, but they're just saying it's the game for the rich, which is not because as we are sitting here right now, mm -hmm. if you want to do anything, you're definitely going to spend money. Yes. So you need to get in there first and before. see how much you're going to spend before you say. Because <laughs> honestly mm -hmm. speaking, that has really pushed a lot of people back. Yeah. Because That's true. as you and I are sitting here, if you have enough money to buy Gucci, that doesn't mean that if you don't have money to buy Gucci, you have to buy Gucci. Yes. You can buy something that you can afford. Yeah. Because the golf accessories, the golf clubs, and they are from the thousand to the ten thousand. Yeah. So if someone has a ten thousand golf bag, that doesn't mean you should, you get should a 10, also get exactly. Bag. You just yeah. catch your coats according to your size. Thank you. <laughs> so you know, come. And when you get there, you know that oh. <laughs> but you yeah. being between Ghana and Canada, how did you cope with business and family? Yeah, you know, all my family are together. We're really golf family. So for, to, for me, it's easy for me. And we travel together all the time. So <laughs> it makes it easier. Well, I have so much more to ask, but time wouldn't permit I us. Know, so right? I'll ask, what is your philosophy in life? You know, I'm sure everybody got, have got a philosophy in life. Yes. I've got maybe millions of them but there's this one that i stick with all the time so it's whenever i hear anything that does not coincide with what i see i only believe my eyes <laughs> whenever i hear anything that does not coincide with what i see i do not i believe my i eyes. believe my eyes yes. it means if you have not seen or simply if, put yeah. Seeing is believing. Exactly. Thank you so much, Flora. We've had an amazing time. Thank you. And you've made me, you've whet my appetite and that of my viewers, I'm sure, to try golf. <laughs>